The objective for this video is to learn how to calculate the weighted mean. A philatelist has 200 stamps in his collection. A distribution of the valuation of the stamps is shown in the table below. He has 60 stamps each valued at $20, 45 each valued at $15, and so on. In order to calculate the mean value for each stamp, we would need to add the value of each stamp and then divide by the number of stamps in the collection. So we would add 20 60 times and then 15 45 times and continue in this manner until we have added the value of each stamp down to the five stamps valued at $4 each. But if we think about this for a second, that would be the same as multiplying 60 by 20 and then adding that to the product of 45 and 15 and continuing this process down to five times four and then again divide that sum by 200. When we do this, we are finding what is called the weighted mean. The weighted mean is used when the values in a data set are not equally represented. The formula for the weighted mean is to multiply the weight of each data value by its corresponding value, then add those products, and then divide that sum by the sum of the weights. So we must first determine what are the weights and what are the data values? We are finding the mean value of each stamp in the collection. So we will assign the variable x to the dollar values. And the weights then will be the number of stamps at each value. So we will multiply each dollar value by its corresponding weight and add them up. We then divide that sum by the sum of the weights. This gives us a total dollar value of 2,590, which we will then divide by the total of 200 stamps, which gives us $12.95. So the average value of the stamps in this collection is $12.95 per stamp. In this video, we learned how to calculate the weighted mean.